If you're having cataract surgery and you have a significant amount of astigmatism, that can be corrected during the surgery using special astigmatism lens implants and computer alignment systems. So if you're considering cataract surgery, the three most important parts of the eye to consider are the cornea, that's the clear covering in the front. You have the lens, which is the part that actually gets cloudy that we remove during the surgery. And then finally the retina, that's the part of the eye that the light is focused on to. When we actually do your surgery, uh, what we're doing is removing the cataract and then replace that with a nice new clear lens implant. So at the end, it looks something like this. Looking at this photo of a real eye, somebody without any astigmatism at all would have a perfectly round cornea. And in this situation, the curvature in one direction is the same as the curvature in all other directions. Somebody with astigmatism, however, would have a relatively oval shaped cornea. And as such in this example, people with astigmatism have one direction of curvature, which is relatively long and flat compared to the perpendicular direction, which would be relatively short and steep. Putting it all together, if you want to look at a palm tree outside, light coming into your eye has to focus clearly through the cornea, through the lens, and finally on the retina to produce a nice clear image. If you have astigmatism, this doesn't happen. Because of your oval shaped cornea, you have two different focal lengths that results in blurring. If you're having cataract surgery, this can be corrected by implanting a toric astigmatism correcting lens implant, which results in light focusing properly and clear vision. Here's a real world example showing photographs of an eye chart where the camera has been blurred using a special lens that has one diopter of astigmatism. It's extremely difficult to make out the smaller lines and the last several lines can't be made out at all. When the astigmatism is corrected, you can see that there's a significant improvement in clarity and all of the lines down to the smallest one can now be made out on the eye chart. Astigmatism correcting torque lens implants are a little bit different than typical lens implants in that they have special alignment markings that are used to align the lens properly during the surgery. It's imperative that those markings be perfectly aligned with the short, more curved direction of the astigmatism, which is denoted by the red line in this picture. We use special computer imaging systems to ensure that this alignment happens as precisely as possible. So here we see real op interoperative footage of the computer system being used to determine the proper alignment of the lens. The system gives lots of information about proper lens strength that should be used, rotation that should be aimed for, and the astigmatism correction that would likely be needed. Through the surgical microscope, the system provides a graphical overlay which shows exactly where the lens should be aligned. Small marks are placed so that the lens alignment can be made once the graphical overlay is removed. In this image, you can see a lens that is not properly aligned. But with a bit of small adjustment, you have the lens in its perfect orientation. Most importantly, this provides patients whose vision was once blurred by astigmatism, clearer, more functional vision at distance without the need for full-time glasses. If you have any other questions or would like a consultation with me or any of our other doctors, give us a call. And thanks for watching.